We all have a beginning. A moment that changes us, shapes us into who we are. For some, it is a quiet turn, planned, ushered in with precision. For others, it is a sharper twist of fate, leaving scars that never heal. For most, these moments are endured, accepted, even forgotten, while there are those who struggle to forgive, to forget. And there are some, just a few, who pass through the fire, wanting more. I know my beginning. I know where it will take me. It will fall to me, Dark, the mightiest of mages, to face my demons and save Eliwold. I summon you, fiend of the lower world. Rise and face your bane. Dark, wake up! You can daydream after your initiation. The Masters are waiting for you in the Hallowed Hall. The Mage's Tower, my home for the last decade. At the bottom of the hill lies the township of Iganor. The door is ajar. Bort has set the combination dial to Shadow Earth Shadow. It's a good thing I found you, Dark. It's not like I can check the records hall, and my finder amulet doesn't work anymore. Bort, friend and earth mage. Nervous? You should be. Just don't be late like I was, unless you want to repeat a whole year. Good luck! Only a select few are allowed in there, outside of the Masters. It was established to keep track of hall traffic, so that the less frequented halls could be removed. It's a handy little trinket, let me tell you, though I wouldn't use it to keep track of someone you're interested in. They don't seem to like that. Or, or so I've heard. Anyhow, Mine hasn't worked since its magical emerald faded. It's a special kind of large gemstone, said to be blessed by the elements. There aren't many like it. I got mine from the green cap goblins. Why don't you just go back to their camp and ask for another one? I would, but... You're comfortable here. There is that. Also, there's no way I could find their camp again without them wanting me to. Or without using my finder amulet. Which doesn't work. You see my problem. I don't know the combination. Water, air, earth. It appears to be an incantation for growing a pinecone out of your head. This was fashionable in Dominatra about five years ago. It is a book of mages, past and present. Bort has placed a protective aura over everything readable. I cannot take a single page without permission. I need to enter a combination for the hall I want to visit, then press the gem in the center.
Welcome, Initiate. You have trained long and hard under our roof. Your element has chosen you well. Already, your time as a novice is drawing to a close. Soon you will demonstrate mastery over your power. The time has come to claim your element. Before you begin, you must affirm that which has chosen you. Thoughts reflect your nature and your element alike. Respond carefully. You see an old woman lost in the market quarter. She appears confused and begs you to help her. A fight breaks out in the local tavern. The barkeep looks to you for help. The giftless, or non-mages, are... What is magic for? In your responses, you have demonstrated an affinity with the water. Do you agree with this assessment, Initiate? You have affirmed your commitment to the water. Your thoughts become fluid and each drop sees your wisdom rise. You may request your first gifts from the Sphere of Knowledge. To earn the title of your kindred, you must fulfill three tasks. Your first awaits across the lake, upon Lone Island. There you will find a banished priestess. Her beauty rivaled only by her cunning and treachery. Take but a lock of her hair. Your second lies within the valley of our closest mountains, where our winged guardians keep watch over the town. Most prized are their griffin's eggs. Return with one. The forest conceals your final task. Many beings and beasts dwell there, most with laws of their own. Bring back the horn of a trinacorn. A warning. The townspeople are tolerant of our magic, yet care little for it. Pass by them as the gentlest breeze, and leave them to their small affairs. Go now, focus on your tasks. You have until the new day dawns. Farewell, young novice. May your deeds ensure you a place in the memory of others. Elements guide you. Ready for your tasks? I wrote them down for you, just in case. Do not ask me how I know them. There is a reason I enjoy this job. Just try not to make the ink run. By the way, don't forget to acquire your first spells from the Sphere of Knowledge in the Training Hall. The combination is Fire, Light, Light. My tasks were somewhat different from yours. I had to bring back the skin of a 50-foot panther snake, a pearl from the bottom of the lake. We had mermaids back then. You would have loved that. And the cap from a green cap goblin. I am just glad it was not a red cap. Those goblins dip their caps in blood and are not too particular about whose. Fortunately for me, the green caps were partial to tonics. I taught them how to make a special one. 
None can appreciate one's element more than an earth mage. It is in our nature, if you'll pardon the pun. Iganor's tower is unique, at least for three days' walk in any northerly direction. Then you'll find another exactly like it. There are an untold number of halls within this tower, which is what comes from making the best use of the same space. We can be a fickle bunch of times, I grant you, but I believe every mage has Eliwald's best interests at heart. I have no doubt that my element knew what it was doing when it picked me, in a naturalistic, polypantheistic sense. You made that term up. Maybe. But you can chant to it. Is there anything you do not already know about me? We've been friends since the day you arrived. Come to think of it, we're both lucky I started at this hall ten years before you. I nearly went to the one in Saltish. Who wouldn't want to be a master? With just four seats per tower, it remains an unrealized goal for most. To reach that level requires the highest discipline, with the exception of the high masters of Dominatra. Meeting them is a rare privilege. If you ever get even half the chance, jump at it. If I could learn half as much as he has, I would die a happy mage. We've always shared a policy of honesty, so you know my full opinion of you. However, if you would like me to reiterate... No, no, you're right. We've covered that subject thoroughly. It's the best job in the world to be caretaker of every book in this hall. Someday, I will have read them all. I have a fondness for natural studies, which should not surprise you. Also, I have taken a liking to history. I doubt you would be interested in that. You're wearing the wrong color, for a start. I'm more inclined to research past the commonly known texts. The earlier, the better. You know, the stories of how the elements cleansed the old world, and how mages rose from among the giftless to protect what was left. Our ancestors must have really ruined things for the elements to react the way they did. Think of all that strange technology the giftless once had. All gone now. Though one can't help but wonder if anything got left behind. If it did, it would be our duty to destroy it. Of course. The ideal place for an earth mage who wishes to spend his life in quiet contemplation and hard study. Sounds exciting. I think so. The masters are looking to extend the initiation period to four days, up from one. That doesn't help you, though. I heard that a new hall has been discovered in the tower, one the masters had not commissioned. Sometimes I think this place has a life of its own. Let me guess, you want to read up on your first task. What do you need to know? Something about the lake. I know just the thing. You should be able to find it now. Only you would know a book-finding spell. By the way, don't forget to acquire your first spells from the Sphere of Knowledge in the Training Hall. The combination is Fire, Light, Light. How can I help? I have never had the opportunity to visit, but there isn't a lot growing on it anyway. I have heard a lot about her. No idea if the anecdotes are true. You'll have to find out for yourself. 
She sleeps in a giant clam, like a vampire in a coffin. I believe their service did not end well. By all accounts, she got off lightly. After all those centuries, she might welcome a haircut. There are a lot of old stories about Lurelai Lake, mostly to do with pretty fish girls and drowning. By the way, Cray is the competitive sort. He was initiated not long ago. Newly initiated water mage at your service. Our motivations are clearest, our thoughts purest. Of course, you won't get such an admission from too many here. That's ignorance for you. I have had the opportunity to speak with her on several occasions. She sees in me great potential. I take it you want to cross Lorelei Lake? I have a compass that will allow you to navigate your way to the island. Thank you. Not so fast. Ugh. What do you want, Cray? Money? Don't be ridiculous. I left something in the priestess's palace when I was there. I want you to get it back for me. You mean the priestess took it from you? I'm going to ignore that. The important thing is the item itself. A sapphire brooch, encrusted with four smaller stones. It was a gift from someone who has since left Iganor. A girl? That is my business. Now, as you know, we are not permitted on the island unless it is part of our initiation. Promise to retrieve it for me, and I will give you the compass. All right. Deal. Good. Here you go. Oh, and you will also need this. A scrap of paper? What is this? A riddle of some kind? That is for you to work out. I've held up my end. Make sure you do the same. I would hate to see you disadvantaged for breaking your word. What is that supposed to mean? Let us hope you don't find out. All I'll tell you is that it's meaningless without the compass. Take good care of it. The compass once belonged to our water master. Some towns grow on you, others you can't wait to shed. I want to go to the capital, meet the High Masters, see their great tower. With any luck, I can avoid paying my family a visit. My parents are fine. At least they were when I last saw them a decade ago. I'm just glad I didn't take after them. Where else would anyone want to live if they had a choice? Dominatra is the only place to make a decent name for yourself. If you want to get anywhere, you have to seize the opportunities as you find them. I sense mine are almost within reach. Do you know the combination to the Fountain Hall? Have you not sailed the three seas? Tell you what, Dark, I'll trade you that information for a healing potion. But... Otherwise, I hope you enjoy guesswork. The three seas? Hmm... Just my luck having to deal with that Earth Mage whenever I want to look something up. Anyone so interested in paper and trees must be conflicted or confused. Did you get the Priestess too? She is a popular task, especially among the male initiates. I'm sure most don't see her that way. Are you sure you're 16? My task was to catch her Echo. Sounds tricky, but as with many things, it comes down to having the right bucket handy. A pot filled with soil and a few budding seeds. I can't think of a good reason to walk around with dirt in my pockets. Sometimes, Varner makes these two spar against each other. The Sphere of Knowledge. It determines whether a novice or mage is ready to receive new abilities. 
I hope it can't tell how much study I've done. I have waited 10 years for this. Seeker of power, know your element. Say not, but show. Of what do I speak? Curved, flat, jagged, or smooth, delivered by salty foam. Some contain sounds, others riches, sold by the seashore. I know, it's... Show. I have to find what it is asking for. Something to do with my element, I suspect. I should search the appropriate hall. This old gem could do with a shine and polish. Even so, I can still sense its energy. The metal pole must be a leftover piece of armor framework. If it isn't nailed down, 